it's kind of personal for you too. Welcome to the welcome to the club, Look, though. I should I, say I got initiated into the club. It's funny. Uh, the, the very first time I was on here with Dave, mm -hmm. we know we did a little social media post, and a guy came in there and he was like, "So, because you know, I told a little of my story," and the guy says, "So basically, all you have to do is be an idiot with money, and Dave Ramsey will hire you." Yeah. And I'm thinking, yeah, I did dumb stuff with money. Yeah. And then a couple of days later, lady comes on and says. Who would ever listen to you? And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Because you paid off almost 500 grand in debt and changed your life. Okay, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why people would listen to you because yeah. you know what it's like to dig a deep hole to and then get out. Yeah, man. I told so. That's who I want to hear from, by the way. I don't want to hear from somebody who don't have any scars. Oh, man. When Sam and you I know? were getting out of debt, so for those of you who don't know, my husband and I, we got married. Uh, and soon after, you know, your student loans don't become due until about six months after you actually graduate. So we didn't really realize what we had combined. Mm -hmm. So about six, eight months into marriage, we realized we were deeply, deeply, deeply into debt. Most of it was student loan debt, uh, 280000 of of it was student loans and the rest two cars that we couldn't afford 20,000 in credit cards in the end we had 460,000 wow. in debt and when we started Ooh. when we started I got a little bit of an attitude because I know folks some folks have made me a little bit salty Ken so I have a little bit of attitude in my I voice like the when salt. we started our I income like was 30k Ooh. because we were musicians fresh out I worked at a clothing store and, you know, we had big dreams and it was like, okay, what are we going to do? Put up or, you know, buck yeah. up or yeah. get out of here, you know? So, yeah. so we started working and uh, we were working for a cruise line, traveling all around the world. Uh, we ended up starting a business to try to get our income up and it worked. And we did any and everything we could in between our normal music jobs to earn money, Ken. Did you have a place to live or were you just living Ken. on the cruise ship? We were, okay, so you go out there for just a couple of days at a time, and then okay. you fly home. It's a lot of flights. Oh, And okay. we were living in a townhouse, and we got roommates. Yeah. Married folks. With roommates. With roommates. Because you were hardly ever there. Uh, we were there enough. <laughs> we were there enough. <laughs> so so you like you were like the real life friends episode. It, uh, it was, it, you know. They were I, always there. Yeah. I'll be there. The, yeah, they were there <laughs> all the time. And uh, we did that to save 600 bucks a month. And we did all sorts of things, Ken. Yeah. We, we didn't have a, we sold all of our furniture. Slept on an air mattress. That's but all you had We in the slept apartment? on an air mattress for five years, Ken Coleman. So when, when people come at me. Wow. And and they don't they don't think I'm qualified to teach this. A man with an experience is never at the mercy of a man with an opinion. Because I did this. Sam Warshaw, Jade Warshaw, we did this. Do you guys have long term chiropractic care? <laughs> nah, dude. You were, were okay. You we guys were in were our twenties. You when were you're young. in your twenties, you're made out of rubber, man. So you can do all whatever. you had in the uh, uh, town home was an air mattress. We had an air mattress for a good minute, and I remember when we saved up enough cash and we bought these. Faux, like, you know, the faux leather. Oh, yeah. That when you can't afford the, the Italian yeah. leather. Oh, yeah. We had these. You stick to it. Yeah. You're <laughs> like, when you get up to go to the bathroom <laughs> when you're watching a game, you know what you I mean? Do. And the leg goes like this. <laughs> yeah. Right off the top. But I, we I've were so there. excited to have them, we slept on them. Well, like, we sure. were like, I'm sleeping well, on these. Yeah, of course. But I'm saying, you know, the, the sacrifice to win, to walk through the baby steps, yeah. and to walk through baby step two, it yeah. took us seven and a half years to do that, Ken. And that's why she's actually here. Because she did it. I don't want to take advice from a professor. I don't want to take a business class from a professor that has never run a successful business. So why would you take financial advice from somebody who's never failed financially yeah. and then had to win? Yeah. And, and that's the uh, thing. All you haters out there, don't get me started on the Sipping keyboard on that warriors. Hater aid. Hater aid. I mean, they're, they're, they're cowards because they like to fire stuff from the safety of the keyboard. They'd never say it to your face. No. And so I don't listen to cowards. In fact... The, uh, the team over on the Ken Coleman show, mm -hmm. they're instructed. All negative comments. I don't mean like healthy, constructive well, criticism. Well, yeah, because we, we do want to learn from, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean just the nasty, like you're an idiot, whatever. Well, sure. I wouldn't argue with you for two seconds about it. And that's the thing. But I'm not going to read that crap. So it goes immediately into the deleted folder. So yeah. if you think you're really getting at us, you're not. Yeah. Take your venom somewhere else. Because we're out here really trying it. to help you. Yeah. We hear you guys. Yep. You guys are, you. what you're going through, we care about that. And have walked through it And ourselves. have walked through it. So the things that we're telling you is things that we yep. have done, things that we have tried, things that we have felt. 
We are right there with you, man. If you're in baby step two, and if you're in what I call the six figure freedom club, where you're trying to pay off six figures or more of debt, I see you, man. Mm. I, I feel you. I feel your pain. I feel the struggle when you, when it's Friday night, like tonight, and everybody else is going out. What'd you do on Friday night? Take me back since we got the air mattress. What was Friday night when you guys were broke? Nacho night. <laughs> Make some nachos at the crib. <laughs> like poor, how? Poor Hold on, because you're a good cook. I am. What was old school broke jade nachos? Was it the, the, the shredded cheese melted or was it real nacho cheese? No, no. It was, was honestly, it? it was whatever we had, whatever we had in the, in the refrigerator. That's what I was going to figure out something to make. So, I did not. So some nights it was like vegan nachos. Some night it was protein nachos. No, it, no, it was we we keep it clean. It's always vegan. Don't get it twisted, Ken. Well, don't this don't is, be trying to get it I'm twisted. Not. I'm actually asking because you're a clean. <laughs> what folks I did, don't know you're a super clean. Or so how do you eat clean when you're broke? Because I'd buy, be getting the government cheese for my nachos. You, I you promise stay on you the right outside. Now. You got to stay on the outside of the grocery store because that's where the, all the healthy stuff is. Fruits, vegetables, all the produce. And then know. if you're going to go on the inner aisles, that's where you get your protein. So your nuts, your beans, okay. that kind of thing. Right. And you buy what's on sale. And what you can't buy fresh, you buy frozen. And what you can't afford to buy frozen, you buy in a can. That's how you do it. If you can't afford to buy the fresh spinach, you buy the frozen spinach, right? And you just work on down. If you can't get the, the fresh carrots, you buy the frozen carrots. If you can't get the frozen carrots, then you get the canned carrots. And you just go on down the line like that. That's good. But don't, nobody, no one can tell me that, oh, there's no way to eat healthy when you don't have money. You do uh, not have to buy ramen noodles. Uh, you do not have to buy McDonald's because McDonald's is not cheap anymore, by the way. No. You go through uh, fast food with kids, yeah. you're spending $70.